Salah, welcome. I thank you for your light. Bless us that we shine. This video is to help work through extreme emotions of sorrow, feelings of discontent, feelings of depression, and that it is able to unblock and uncross the experiences through the heart, the soul, and the consciousness. I'm working with multiple artists for this, including myself. This is a sound bath journey. And in this sound bath journey, there is going to be also lessons and teachings through the messages, through the experience. And I welcome you to get comfortable if you can, if you're at work, just try and relax. And breathe really deep. I want you to join me for really deep inhalation. So breathing in to the heart, soul center. Breathe in deeply. Breathe in deeper, don't exhale. Deeper, deeper. And exhale. Breathe in again. When you breathe in, feel the shoulders raising up. Pushing back, allowing your back to arch. As you inhale really deeply and and again, breathing in very deeply. To the heart, soul center. And expanding. And breathe in again really deeply. This video's intention is to help remove depression, work through it consciously. I'm going to teach you some plants that help with that too. After the sound bath, I'll communicate with you about some of those things. So this is to bring healing. that felt uncomfortable. 
allowing the spine to align, reaching your hands up and stretching, or if you're laying, let your arms come above your crown and open them, allowing the spine to align, feeling the neck stretching, do that again, move the energies necessary to bring about healing. And transmuting some of that energy that's unnecessary. take you into the jungles and some medicine. This next one is also um, one of Jolly Vice from Folkloric Records and it's important to share some of the songs when we are blessed with the option to do so and I'm doing that now.
pushing that through the feet and all the way up again to the heart and soul and the consciousness all the way up to the throat chakra what would you like to say how would you feel to the consciousness really vibrating with the high frequency of the intentions thank you jelly vi for sharing that with us and the beloved and beloveds who also helped to co-create that very beautiful divine love music really breathing into the heart and soul again the consciousness the feeling of I am presence of being parts of you that you love, that you enjoy, that others communicate about, feeling that inspiration inside. What is it about you that you love? All of the things about you that you love, you got to work on that. Okie dokie. So oh, 
really beautiful love. I welcome each of you to take a moment to feel into who you'd like to meet with spiritually, who is communicating. I would like you to take a moment to really feel that. Let your eyes be open or closed, but listen, to, they got some messages. And I hope you, when you work through the thicket, to call on them, to feel not alone, to acknowledge that there's many who are with us spiritually around us. And to feel like one is alone is, it's so much. And I'm so thankful for the realms of the loved ones who come to visit me and are here with me. And I do believe that.
very easy now. It's very important for you to take moments to touch your heart space. I'm going to sing some of my own stuff now. I'm going to turn that off. Close that. Thank you. We're going to do this in a whole nother vibration. So I'm going to utilize the sounds of the river. And I'd love for you to feel that you're being washed, that your feet are inside the pure woods. And it's clean, They're very pure. What that tastes like, what that feels like. love thank you thank you for joining these experiences of heart soul of mind and vessel healing acknowledgments of self-love expansionally to do another five breaths in before you get ready to sit up or stand up really feeling that connection 
connection with loved ones. Maybe write down, write the messages that you've seen during the vision journey, during the sound journey, during the heart, soul, mind, body journey of healing the vessels, the wellness, the souls, the beingness. And with that, finding the attunement of the soul, feeling comfortable. of you for coming and joining us in this journey. I will take a moment to tell you different herbs and plants that grow that help to remove the effects of depression. So I'm going to give you a list of herbs and plant remedies, cures, Gaia. We call it swamp juice. <laughs> It's so funny, I don't have my other lamp, and my eyes look so green right now. Um, thank you. What color are your eyes? And um, what color was your aura during the journey? How many of you saw yourself in the vision journey, or in, in, the, in the experience? And what was the, the feeling inside? Were you floating with the clouds? Did you see the river? And taking moments to really feel into that remembrance as you're writing and journaling. And I'll um, turn this off, turn that off, and this off. And we'll talk. Okay. I'll let you continue writing for just a moment. I was going to share this out to other places. I guess while you're writing in your journals, I'll take a moment to share this out. And it's not letting me share it out for some reason right now. All right, well, that's what it, that's it. It just won't let me do it right now, so it's okay. Um, welcome. So there are certain herbs and plant medicines that come along together that help to create sustainable solutions for removing depression, anxiety, helping to remove, helping to remove anxiety, depression, feelings of overwhelm, stress, and other experiences when it comes to that um, discomforts and such, if, especially if you're in constant pain. I don't even want to say it because I don't want you to, I don't want anyone to be in this like idea that that has to continue happening like that. Um, I would like you to be in the, in the idea or this idea of being healed and being protected and being loved. And when we work with our plant medicines, we can always create these beautiful options and solutions. So I'm going to give you a list of ones that help to relieve um, and treat depression. And you can ask your doctors if you're on medication, if it's okay for you to take them too. I suggest that you, you do your research if you're on medications. Um, and if you don't know um, what to, how to ask your doctor, you can ask me and I can tell you. Okay. So we have one that is very, very well known for calming, and that's chamomile. Chamomile is very, very juicy, very calming, very soothing. Um, the next one is valerian. Valerian is extremely calming, very euphoric. Just take a small amount. You don't need too much. You only need just a little bit. Um, a little bit goes a long way. Um, we, there's also rose petals. Rose petals are amazing, especially at fresh. And you could add those to your salad. You could add those to your tea. Um, you could roll them up and do things with them. And um, they're delicious. They're actually really amazing um, as a spray, as a spritzer too. There's another one that is the, um, let me see this. I have to read the bag. 
it's rhodiola, rhodiola, ro, roseola, roseola, and roseola I utilize for my elixir that is called alkaline rejuvenation, and that particular one is really interesting because it doesn't only like lift the spirits or lift up the energy inside the the body, creates um, adrenaline inside, but also creates heart healing, it helps with heart healing. It is a beautiful color, it is kind of rosy colored, and tastes very nourishing, very delicious, and is a berry, and is amazing to receive that medicine. And that's really working with the roots medicine. Another one that's amazingly helpful is sage. Um, and that is extremely helpful as a tea can go in the food so you can intertwine the herbs and the plant medicines into your dishes so that you don't always have to drink tea um, to receive them and having a tea with them is, is an extra dose and that's great you can't not have too much of the ones that I'm telling you about well ro roseola yeah you don't want to take too too much of it because it, you might not sleep for like days so just a little bit is uh, is plenty. Another one that's really amazing that I found helpful for those who are, who are suffering is lavender with a little hint of maca as well as ashwagandha and um, ginger root. And that's an amazing elixir to create. You might have to rewind that um, to mix that together to help with the heart healing journey as well and the mind healing journey. So when the mind is working through different types of extremes, ginkgo ba is really beautiful to work with. Some consider St. John's wort the cure treatment. The reason I didn't mention St. John's wort is because of the effects it has on women internally. You're not supposed to take it without like some sort of a cream, like I don't even eat cow or drink cow. So it's um, you're supposed to take it with yogurt or some sort of cream that's plant-based, you know, vegan, if, if it's possible, please. Um, if not, it's because of the, it's like a very metallic-y kind of effect on the internal for some womb beings, and it's not suggested to take alone without something in the stomach first. Um, so I don't suggest that because not always when beings are feeling sad, do they want to eat? Um, some moments they just choose not to eat because they don't feel like doing anything. They don't feel like getting out of bed sometimes. They don't feel like doing different types of things in their minds. They're just trying to get their brains to function and work and trying to get their body to function and work because they're going through such an extreme. It's like a shock. If you imagine like someone who just went through a lot of different experiences at once and then you're like, oh hey, you're depressed, you have some pills. What has to happen with them because they're depressed or because they're working through experiences and the heart healing through the experiences is to have someone to talk to who can actually live and give, give sound advice that is helpful and sustainable and create solutions. And that's how we save lives. And that's how we get folks clean and that's how we take care of ourselves and each other is by being conscious about the experiences and opening up and communicating about it um, even if it's a cry for help somebody will appear and trusting that is important or if they don't reach out you want to reach out to me I have an inbox I can I do check my messages some moments it doesn't show me all your messages but if you need me, you can write me and tell me that you're in an emergency situation and you need help immediately. Um, pertaining to physical pain, emotional, spiritual, psychological experiences that seem a lot and you need help working through it. Um, please don't contact asking me for money because I have a bunch of children and a house and bills but I'm not dating somebody named Bill it's just what they call like things you have to pay for so in this reality we look into this spectrum of 
what flowers grow that are edible and can help with heart healing and taste delicious in tea and aren't too expensive because some of you don't have extra money to spend. So what flowers grow around you that are super food, super helpful for the psychological, spiritual, and emotional as well, dandelions, dandelions and calendula as well. Um, I know that the arnica takes away the physical pain. You're not supposed to consume too much of it. They say don't consume it at all, actually. Um, but if you do, it, only a small amount is okay if it's for specific needs and you're a trained professional or you've spoken with a trained professional on what servings are proper. Um, what I found also is a lot of the citrus fruits, like the ones that we actually grow like from like real places, that they're super heart healing just to have like a real orange and real citrus, real lemon. It's so healing. Something about the the nourishment, the vitamins, the, the gift to our blood cells that these beings growing have blessed us with. Apples also. If you get real fruit, it's amazingly delicious. It really feels amazing. You can feel it. We can feel it. Yeah. And when eating something that maybe is not as pure, maybe that's also causing different types of emotions um, and being conscious of what you eat and what you feel like after you eat it, what you drink, what you feel like after you drink it. Um, try and journal your day, the days and the experiences when you get up. How is it when waking? If it's, you know, on that level, then what are you doing? What's, what's filling up the day? What's busying you to get yourself functioning and get yourself inspired? Or are you being busy? Are you watching TV and just kind of sitting around wishing that things would change. Um, and part of the journey through pain, if you've been through pain, or you're, you were suffering or, or looking for a way to heal from that and work through um, the heart healing journey. Feel not alone, that's one of the most important parts of, of that reality is that it's a lot to go through say, pain and suffering without others to be there to help through that experience the same way. And this is another reason why I'm so thankful for the, the souls who are present with me spiritually, um, because I do not feel alone. And when I, others might, you know, imagine that it's a lot, I do have kids, you know, and they're not always available to help me if I was in pain or um, in that way, but they do occasionally. And I have to, I've had to learn how to just take care of myself. And that's part of why I start to make my own products. Um, I've always been doing that. Like I've always been eating flowers and tasting things like leaves and lots of berries and fruits. And I've, I've been studying them since I very early on and it's amazing that we have the opportunity to heal ourselves with what grows around us. They actually grow. The dandelions are growing. The, the grass is even edible, like literally super healthy and, and delicious. But it's, it's so important um, to not just do supplements. Supplements are not giving you the full serving. So those only give you, um, in one bottle, one bottle of pills is about three tablespoons of medicine. And that's, if you want to cure something, probably a decent amount to put into one, one like glass and then drink it over a matter of seven days, like eight ounce, you know? So it's called swamp juice. If you want to learn how to heal yourself, you got to stop allowing yourself to get, be a victim to a process that is not serving. Supplements do not serve the, the biggest reason that they're created for, unless of course more is taken. Like if there's like five of them for say some like acacia, that makes sense because it's giving like more of a proper dosage because the pills are like giant. And you know, that makes sense, but it makes more sense to spend less and buy a whole pound.
And in that reality, then you can have your proper servings and doses so that you can get wellness. You're not spending money every month and it lasts for about six months. So taking moments, it could last longer depending on how much you take or how often you take them. Um, take a moment to really breathe into your heart centers and acknowledge that you are loved and we love you and let me know what areas you're at and I'll do what I can to help um, advise you on what grows there. I'm starting my list. Thank you, beloved ones. Thank you for joining and coming on. I love you. Aloha, Akasha, Asha, Arak, Atek. Mwah.